come back we are going to work on the front elevation of this building as we are looking at this building in this direction and when we are looking at it in this direction we are going to see the edge of this wall we see the edge of this wall we are going to see this window we see these windows these windows these windows then we see these doors then we see these windows there's going to be a beam on top of the building as we are going to see it the way i'm going to do it so what we need to do now to draw the front elevation we are going to draw horizontal line okay so we draw horizontal line for as the ground level line so we write it here so ground level so that is gl so ground level okay so that's very very important so you need to indicate it okay so now the next thing that we are going to do is that i'm going to take my <coughs> cell square i'm going to draw a vertical line but before i go on to do that i want this to i don't want too much lines to be on this uh, front elevation so what i'm going to do is that i will um okay so i'll just take so I will just draw a short vertical line. So for the edge of this wall, so I will just draw it from here up a little bit. Okay, then coming to this, I will also draw a vertical line. Okay, like this. Then I'm going to take a measurement of uh, 1.5 or 2 millimeters for the floor level. 2 millimeters for the floor level. So we need to show that so I will uh, draw this horizontal line so for the floor level um, the line is not straight um, all right so then I'm going to indicate the floor level here so I'll just put FL for the floor level okay so I've indicated that so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a measurement of the floor to ceiling height as we have here that um, it is stated here uh, under the wall that floor to or ceiling to floor finish is 3000 so that is 30 millimeters so I will take a measurement of 30 millimeters from this floor level up 30 millimeters so this is 30 millimeters and I will draw horizontal line so here I will draw horizontal line so by this okay now uh the type of roof that is given to us here the type of roof that let's work on the roof so the type of roof given to us here in this uh drawing is uh, a flat roof or parapet roof and according to coming to the roof here we have that 25 bit MOSFET and then we have roof finish on 150 uh, reinforced concrete roof and this projection is 600 then they said parapet 225 by 225 sand with coping 500 high okay um so what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to add this 225 with this 150 so 225 plus 150 that will give us uh 375 375 so 375 so that's what we are going to have there so now um, so I will need to extend this vertical line extend this vertical line a bit okay so then um, extend this a little bit then I'm going to take a measurement of we have 375 uh, so I'm going to so by 100 that will give us what that will give us let's say that is 4 millimeters so I take a measurement of four millimeters here. So this is four millimeters, and I'm going to draw horizontal line. Okay, so I draw horizontal line like this. So with the coping on it, they say that is one thousand. Uh, the coping is one thousand or one fifty. Let me check. Okay, so that's five hundred. So five hundred by hundred, that is five. So I will take a measurement of five millimeters up like this okay so i will also draw horizontal line like this okay now so the next thing i'm going to do is that so for this if projection i need to show it here so here i will just uh, draw um, 
so a vertical line so draw a vertical line like this and then here i will also draw a vertical line for the eaves projection is it okay so for the coping so i just take five millimeters out of this line five millimeters a little bit out so this is five millimeters to this side and here also i will take five millimeters to this side okay so here i'm going to draw a vertical line here i will draw a vertical line all right so and then for this line so i'm going to make this line a thick line then this line also I will make it a thick line and this line I will make it a thick line all right so then um, also make this line a thick line and this line also will make it a thick line and then this line as, a, as an edge of a wall it will be a thick line and this will also be a thick line okay so also another line that we are going to make a thick line is this uh the edge of a wall here and the edge of a wall here in the front elevation the plan so in the front elevation it will be a thick line i will also have a beam so there so i will draw a vertical line down here and here also i will also draw a vertical line okay so this says something about the beam in this specification so let me look at it so they mention a beam that a beam so reinforced beam is 2425 from floor uh, finish uh, from finished floor level so um, so that is going to give us what that is going to give us 24.25 so I need to take a measurement of 24 millimeters up 24 millimeters up this is 24 so that's the beam so uh, for the beam I'm going to draw uh, a thick line so from here to here all right so then so this will be a thick line so from here down and also from here down all right so then for the doors so we have these two doors so we need to uh, project them down here so i will just come here mm. all right so the height of the let me take the height of the window uh, sorry of the door first so the height is 21 because we have 2100 so that will be 21 so because of the windows that i'm going to draw i'm going to draw a horizontal line because the edge of the top of the door and the top of the windows they are the same level so take note of that so now can i draw a vertical line um, so a vertical line so from here down also a vertical line from here down then a vertical line here all right so then uh, the frame so i just move the wheel to be like one millimeter so draw the frame here and we also draw this All right, so then, so I come up a little bit. So draw a small horizontal line here for the frame of the door. All right, so and then, so the next thing I'm going to do is I need to make this line thick lines. Okay. So I believe you can see the way I'm doing this work. It's very simple. Okay. 
Alright. Okay, then um yeah, I need to make this so this floor level we are going to see it. Why for this part? So it's going to be drawn with short ashes line for the inner part of the uh, building. We can't see it from outside. So that's why we need to draw this with short dashes line. So that's what I've done here. So that is for the floor level inside the building. So you cannot see it from outside. So we need to draw it with short dashes line. Alright, so that's what I've done. Okay, so now for this door, so I'm going to, so they say it's flush door. So I'll just put something here like this. Alright, so I'll just leave it. I'm leaving it like this. Okay, so it's a flush door. So uh though they said it is wooden, so I will have put max but I will have uh, maybe I should just put something like this for the door for the because it is wooden. Alright, so this is okay. Now for the windows, so we are told that the windows are lower windows so um i need to locate um i need to do this so draw a vertical line so draw a vertical line down here and also i will draw a vertical line here then this i will draw a vertical line so let me just do one out of these windows then the many i will do it while i pause the video so I'm going to move away a little bit so take a measurement like one millimeter to the so and also I'll do the same thing here and take one millimeter to this side also to create the frame of the windows then come down here a little bit I will also draw horizontal line here to create the frame of the windows then the height of the windows according to what we have this we have WW so according to the specifications so the height is uh 12 millimeters so i will take 12 millimeters down okay 12 millimeters down so this is uh, 12 millimeters okay then i will draw horizontal line here so draw this horizontal line then i will also move down a little bit so draw another horizontal line like this Okay, so then we are told that they are Luva windows, so I'm just going to create the Luva glass here. Alright, so, so we are working on this window. So it's a liver window as we are informed in the specifications. So I'm trying to make it more feasible. all right so we have created this window so we are still going to produce this one and this so i pause the video while i do that all right so we have fixed the main two windows and that thing that we need to do here is that we need to uh come up a little bit here in the roof so just come up a little bit and then we need to draw short dashes line for the inner hole or for the 
can be a square hole or rectangular hole within this type of roof okay so that is why they use uh, bitmos ferrite to uh, to prevent water from dripping in into the building over this part okay so this is it all right so um we are done with the front elevation so let's move on the construction of the uh, of the uh, sectional view thank you and god bless you